Welcome back to Alice Customs Project Car TV and this is another Tool Bag Tuesday. What we're talking about today is, I, I'm just curious, how many of you are like me and picked a brand, bought as many tools as you needed, and I actually had one brand for home and one brand for when I ran my construction company. And I used, uh, I used Ryobi at home and I used DeWalt with the construction company. Well, I don't have the construction company anymore. And so those tools have come into the shop and I use them regularly. And over the years, I would have to replace the batteries every uh, maybe two to three years. Um, and I have a Ryobi battery sitting here yet. I don't have any of the Ryobi tools. But anyway, um, the problem I run into is the tool, the batteries, the tools don't wear out very often, especially in the DeWalt. Um, I actually, the Ryobi, I have really good luck with those as well. And kind of, uh, my brother said it best. Uh, you walk through the store, they want to talk to you about, you know, you walk through the Home Depot, you walk through the Lowe's, the Menards, wherever, and somebody's standing there, they want to talk to you about their latest, greatest tool. And they're like, are you a DeWalt fan, a Ryobi fan, a Milwaukee fan? And, and he looks at him and goes, it doesn't really matter whether I'm a fan. I'm fully invested in, his case, the Ryobi version. You know, it's true. Once you are 10 tools deep into a product, it doesn't matter whether you're a fan anymore. It matters whether the batteries survive as long as the tool does. And they don't. They get recharged regularly and it's they just wear out. And that's been the problem with all my, my Ryobi tools is the batteries, I have lots of Ryobi tools, and Ryobi makes a large product line. I mean, there's anytime you think of a tool, you can go find it and get it in Ryobi. The other brands, maybe not so much. But I'm pretty invested in Ryobi for my home stuff, and I'm very invested in DeWalt for, from my previous construction life. And I like the DeWalt tools. I like the durability of them. I don't like having to try and buy... Uh, $100 worth of batteries that are 18 volt because I have the older version of everything. So not very long ago, it was uh, less than a year ago, I bought two 2 amp hour 20 volt batteries and a 20 to 18 volt adapter all by DeWalt. Yes, that's the most expensive way to do that. But it did make to where I could use my 18 volt tools with the 20 volt batteries with the newer technology and it worked very well. So as this year has gone on, more and more of my 18 volt batteries have just given up. And so recently I made a big purchase and I bought four uh, third party, they're not DeWalt adapters because DeWalt wants like $35 for their adapter, for, whereas for like $25, I could get two of these others, and they have a nice little feature. You can, uh, doesn't work when they're on the tool, although there are some brands where it's up in the front, but there's a five volt USB connector that will put out two something amp, 2.1 amps, so you can charge an iPad on it, but you can also charge your iPhone or whatever other device off of your 20 volt battery, and I thought, that is just really cool. Um, now, maybe that's a cool thing if you're mobile and you're not just sitting in your shop, but I, I still, I like the little, the ability to have that feature. The nice thing I found is I can put these 20 volt and I bought, I now have five of the adapters, I'm gonna buy two more and that will cover every one of my uh, DeWalt tools so that I can just let the last 18 volt battery or two that I have give up. But I also found, and I haven't bought any yet, but I will find the links and put them in the description. For the Ryobi batteries, you can buy this same adapter or a similar adapter to go from the DeWalt 20 volt batteries to a Ryobi tool. And with that, that means I can stick with one battery type for all of my tools. And that's a feature that I'm really looking forward to. But I recently bought four of these five amp hour batteries. I have one of the two amp hour. They work amazing. And, you know, yeah, it adds a little bulk to the shape of your 
tool, it makes these tools last into the future way beyond their probably intended lifetime. So that's what I had for you today is basically the adapter. It has nothing to do with the battery and there are other brands. If, if you are a Milwaukee battery or Milwaukee tool and you have all the Milwaukee batteries and there are there are adapters to go from the more modern Milwaukee batteries to the older Milwaukee tools. Uh, there are adapters to go from the Ryobi batteries to all of the different brands. They're all out there. So I'll put links for the Ryobi uh, tools and the DeWalt 18 volt tools. And it's both the Ryobi 18 volt and DeWalt 18 volt that I have any uh, experience with to the DeWalt 20 volt batteries. And there are clone batteries out there I've tried a few, really haven't had great luck with them. Now, one thing I have found is that leaving these batteries attached through these adapters, I think because it's reducing the voltage, I think because there is a method by which they're reducing the voltage through these things, or maybe it's the fact that there's a USB port in there, I don't know. Um, I think the electronics are slowly draining the batteries. So, Leaving the battery in the tool uh, has, in in a couple of cases here, drained the battery overnight for no, you know, when the tool wasn't actually in use. So I have just gotten in the habit of unplugging the batteries at the end of the day and not leaving them plugged into my tool. But I like the versatility and the ability to modernize my batteries for all of my tools. Well, anyway, that's what I had for you. It's adapters, I've got the aftermarket third party as well as the DeWalt. There'll be links in the description for all of that. And please like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, all the other YouTube stuff. And I'll see you again on another Tool Bag Tuesday.